In this video, we'll look at whether CaOH2 is an electrolyte or a non-electrolyte. This is calcium hydroxide, the OH, that's the hydroxide polyatomic ion. For calcium hydroxide, first off, probably the best thing to do is to memorize this table here of strong acids and strong bases. Because calcium hydroxide, that's considered to be a strong base. Because it's a strong base, it's a strong electrolyte. So by memorizing this list of common strong acids and strong bases, you'll quickly be able to identify these strong acids and strong bases, which are strong electrolytes. Our definition of an electrolyte is a substance that dissolves in water or another polar solvent, and it produces ions. And these ions, they allow the solution to conduct electricity. So calcium hydroxide is kind of interesting. It dissolves in water some. It's slightly soluble. So the calcium hydroxide that does dissolve, it dissociates into Ca2 plus ions. Calcium's in group two, so that's gonna be two plus. And then the hydroxide ion, that's OH, that has a one minus ionic charge. And we have two hydroxides. So for every one calcium ion, we get two hydroxide ions. So this will dissociate, the parts that dissolve will dissociate, produce ions, and that will conduct electricity. Let's put an AQ after these ions since they are dissolved in water. But the thing is, calcium hydroxide is only slightly soluble. So something like, say, sodium hydroxide, where it dissociates completely 100%, that really is quite a strong electrolyte. Calcium hydroxide, it's kind of more a definitional thing. What does dissolve dissociates completely. Either way, probably the best thing to do is memorize that calcium hydroxide is considered a strong base and therefore is considered a strong electrolyte. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.